All right, we gotta hurry, guys. We've got five minutes to practice. Come on, this is my five minute practice routine. Woo! All right, you're on the tripod, and we are in focus, and we're good to go. What's happening, everybody? This is gonna be a fast-paced video, because we've only got five minutes to practice. So I have a challenge here for you. I want you to learn this five minute practice routine that I think you should do every single day. Try to do it for one month. And I want you to see all the good things that come from these things. So I'm not gonna keep blabbing. I'm just gonna show you the stuff. This is meant to be a fast video, a fast practice routine. The tabs are linked down below. You can check out my free guitar course if you want to. That is linked as well for your five minute everyday practice routine. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna work on playing some chords. We're gonna do some chord triads. We're gonna do G major chords and then uh, F major chords. So we're gonna go like this. And I want you to be able to move this around all over the place because what's cool is this pattern stays the same. You can literally do it anywhere. You know, I messed that one up. But that's the whole point of it is to practice these all over the place. Now I'm using my finger to kind of pluck the strings. You could strum it if you wanted to. Or you could ar arpeggiate it. But the point is you're working on chords and I want you to do each of these, like I said, for like about a minute each. So you, you can't tell me you don't have five minutes of practice. You know what I mean, man? So we have this and what's important is, so like I said, the first one was G. So hone in on where your G notes are. So this G note here is actually the second note we play. It starts on our fifth goes to our G, uh, and then it goes to your major third right there. But if you know where that one is, then you can move this shape anywhere. So now I'm doing D major. Oh, now I'm doing D major. Example number one. All right, so example two is a picking exercise, and I don't want to do your standard picking where you're just picking in the same direction all the time. Nothing like that. We want it to feel a little bit awkward, different for us, and we want it to be something that we're going to have to work on. So we're going to go like this. So what am I doing exactly? Well, I'm playing an A minor scale is what I'm essentially doing. But I'm alternate picking it all, and I'm not playing the notes in order of the scale. So I'm going... Um, so I'm playing six first on the B, then I go to five, and then I go to eight, which is kind of an odd pattern. Then I move down to the A string, or the A string, the high E string, and I go seven, five, eight. Okay, so. We're not worried about speed right now, we just want control. Now I shift up into my next pattern of the scale, and I'm gonna go eight to six, and then to 10 on the B. And then uh, we're gonna go eight, seven, and then 10. Oh, maybe. Okay. And you could of course keep moving up the scale if you wanted to, I didn't tab it out, but you could keep going. So next we're gonna get some scale practice in here. I don't want you just simply, you know, speeding through your pentatonic boxes from the low E string to the high E string. We're actually gonna be starting in the middle of the pentatonic boxes, which kind of adds a little bit more of a challenge to it. So we're gonna be going like this. So what am I doing exactly? Well, I'm going through my pentatonic scale, but like I said, I'm not starting on the low E string. I'm practicing starting in the middle of the scale. So I'm starting in box five, and I ascend it, then descend box one, ascend two, descend three, and then slide back down to kind of like one or two, however you want to view it. So on the D string, I'm going to go two five on the D, two five on the G, three five on the B in high E. So that completes box five. Like I said, we didn't start on the low E string, so it feels a little bit different. Now I, I shift up and I'm just gonna keep using my ring finger here. I'm gonna go eight to five on the high string, eight to five, seven to five, and then seven to five. So. And even that's a good practice. But instead of leaving it there, I continue up another shape and I'm gonna go seven to 10 on the D, seven to nine on the G, eight to 10 on the B, and eight to 10 on the high. Now we just completed box number two. So we would box five, box one, box two, 
And then up here to box three, which goes like this, 12, 10, 13, 10, 12, nine, and 12, 10. And I slide back down to seven. So that's another really, really good one to sit there and just kind of cycle through it for a minute straight. Now, like I said, speed's not our key. I know I'm playing it kind of fast, but you know, just sit there. Now the final one is pretty challenging. I'm gonna play it slow for you here, uh, but you know, we're gonna break it all down here in just a second. So it goes like this. All right, time for that final one now. So this one is kind of a tongue twister. I was using quite a few different techniques in here, but you can kind of technique wise, you can practice what you want with it. It's more of the notes involved. So uh, this is definitely getting some like hammer on pull off work going on for us. So we're starting right here like this. It's all out of G major. And uh, I recommend playing with distortion right now. Uh, I'm not playing clean enough, but I will work on it and I will get better at it. So the first part here, uh, which I am hybrid picking actually, I'm picking the G string with my middle finger. And then on the D and G, uh, which is fourth fret, and then on the D and G I go five, pull off to four, hammer on five. Kind of like in a pedal motion. I keep referencing, uh, referencing that. Now I, I roll my middle finger and get five on the G. So I pluck again and I go five, four, five again on the D. Reaching up with my pinky to get seven on the G. Then five, four, five again on the D. Back to five on the G. Then five, four, five, so. Now I recommend playing this with distortion because you'll notice you'll get a lot of like string noise and stuff like that. And uh, obviously I need to work on it more myself because I haven't worked on it that much lately, but uh, it's a really good exercise. Now I shift up here. That way I can get my pinky uh, and ring finger combination involved here. And what I'm doing here is I'm gonna play nine on the D. Now on the A string, I'm going 10, nine, 10. It's the same note, but I'm using my pinky, ring finger, pinky. So ring, then I go to seven on the A, 10, nine, 10 again. Then I go to open D. 10, 9, 10, and then ten, uh, 8 on the low string. And then I end on a G, or you could start it over again. Okay, and I shift up here. And there's that one. Another really good exercise that uh, it's challenging, but you know, it's worth learning. All right, home diggity dogs, that is gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Like I said before, get the tabs below. Try it, five minutes a day, one month. You can do it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, homies. Keep on rocking. Guitar at five. Ah!